Hello everyone, I'm Dev Lindul Dalao. I'm a software developer at Inmeta. And I'm here to talk about introduction to Paseto, platform agnostic security tokens. First of all, I'd like to thank besides Budapest for uh, this opportunity. I'll be uh, sharing you this Paseto. Okay, so uh, let's start. So just to uh, refresh our memory, here's um, um, JWT and some uh, other things. Uh, this is JSON Web Tokens. You know? These are all, uh, an open industry standard RFC 7519 method for representing claims securely between two parties, right? Here's a sample uh, token, JWT token, job token from JWT website. So as you can see here, it's divided into three. There's the header, payload, and the signature. So sub subject, EAT, uh, issue that uh, time. Uh, JWT is used today for securely exchange um, information between two servers and then also in a single page application authentication or SPA or authorized operations across servers we have some acronyms here we have uh, JOSE or HOSE JavaScript object signing and encryption also the name of the working group HOSE is actually a framework intended to provide a method to securely transfer claims between parties. Um, the next is the JWTR JOT, you know, representing claims in compact and URL safe means. Next is we have JWE or the JSON Web Encryption, which um, encrypts content, you know, and then JWS, uh, which is the JSON Web Signature which secures content with digital signatures. And then JWK, um, the JSON Web Key, represents keys used for signing and encryption. And then we have JWA, which is JSON Web Algorithm, you know, which uh, is a cryptographic algorithm and identifiers used with all the above. And here we have supported algorithms. We have HMAC plus SHA, HS, and then RSA uh, plus SHA, RS. We also have ES256, uh, which is a symmetric key cryptography uh, algorithm, elliptic uh, curve, digital signature algorithm, and then some PS here. So next is signing versus encryption um, encryption you know for unreadable data to unauthorized parties so uh, perfect for confidentiality then we have signing here is for data integrity you know, message authentication and, and uh, repudiation and you know for uh, integrity in short and then multiple ways of signing with a secret uh, using HMAC, that's one, and then with a private key using RSA, EC, and others. And some pointers here, you know, uh, multiple systems can issue tokens. A token can be used by multiple systems. Uh, all these systems can use different libraries. Now let's go to vulnerabilities and exploitation in JOT or JSON Web Tokens. First, let's go to the first uh, vulnerability that can be found. It's not checking the signature. So some JWT or JSON Web Token libraries methods are decode and verify so the problem with uh, 
you know with this code here is that this is what uh, used to, to happen before in in uh, some uh, cases that uh, there was a bridge or something um, here jwt.decode instead of you know verifying it or jwt verify uh, it's a big mistake here next is exploitation so how do you exploit this get a token uh, decode and then tamper with payload and then send the token that's it easy next uh, vulnerability the non algorithm here and I think I should do so uh, this one laser pointer yeah I think this is better um, the non algorithm so used to be supported by default in few libraries basically don't sign the token and exploitation get a token decode the header and change the algorithm none or none decode and tamper with the payload and then uh, keep or remove the signature that's it next is algorithm confusion hmac rsa for instance uh, the token has been signed using hmac instead of rsa you tell the receiver it's an hmac and it verifies it with the public key thinking it's rsa so this is the uh, exploitation get a token sign with rsa decode the header and change the algorithm from rsa to hmac then tamper with the payload lastly sign the token with the public rsa key easy kid parameter so uh KID is an optional header claim which holds a key identifier particularly useful um, when you have multiple keys to sign the tokens and you need to look up the right one to verify the signature this done prior to the verification of the signature so what kind of exploitation uh, can we do here uh, get a signed token containing a KID parameter decode the header and change the kid with uh, sql injection payload then tamper with the payload lastly again sign the token using the return value from the uh, sql injection and that's it the rin next is wikis so here's an example jwt signed with hs256 uh, any secret SN1F exploitation get the JWT cracker it's available online and then run this code runtime JWT crack and then followed by the token itself you get this secret that's too short that's why you can easily do this and there's more you know in like valid curve attacks you know so uh, as you can see here developers need you know, like me we need easy to use tools that don't open the door to a ton of attacks There are a lot of ways for JWTs to go wrong baked into the Jose standards, the Jose, uh, uh, Jose, you know, advocate response to this criticism is use a specific library. So this shifts the blame onto the library developers and the library users. And it has industry anti-patterns, like standard designers here. Uh, let's give users a lot of choices it's not good right 
and then the advocates then blame the implementation rather than the standard and then the security experts just tell you uh, declare standard harmful provide no alternative then we as developers uh, roll our own uh, crypto so yeah can you really blame the developers now we have here a Pasero platform agnostic security tokens so Pasero is everything you love about hosting JWT, JWE, JWS without any of the many design deficits that plague the hosting standards that's good definition from the Pasero uh, website so here's an example of Pasero uh, token grab my laser so it's divided into three and four here a version and then purpose and then payload and there's a optional footer which is an example a version here v1 or v2 and then local then the payload here up to here and then the footer so what is the version what does it do version tells you what version of Pasero is being used with the token and if, uh, if v3 comes out a year from now then users would only be allowed to use v2 version 2 or version 3 but no longer version 1 let's go to the next one the purpose you know, which is local or public uh, diff or different types of pasero so local means um, referred to as symmetric or shared key pasetos because that is the type of the cryptography that they use um, always encrypted and an attacker that was able to get a hold of the token will not be able to see the data inside unless he has a key and then the public both paseros are always signed but public is not encrypted so that's the second part of the token the, the purpose so here um, next is what's inside the Paseto payload uh, this is an example of uh, Paseto payload uh, we have you know uh, ID here email or permissions and here are the rest the payload samples sub expiration issuer subject audience expiration not before issue that token ID key ID hmm. and then the last part which is an optional uh, footer it's the base 64 URL some people want to do key rotation so um, they would want an encrypted part of the local token they get stored like a key identifier that references a specific public key or specific uh, secret and here are some Paseto implementations I'm not sure if you can see it here so let's uh, take a look in the list one by one we have for C language here and then for Elixir for Go language for Java the Paseto which uh, you'll see it uh, later uh, JavaScript Paseto JS for Lua for .NET and Node.js for PHP, Python, Ruby, Rust, and Swift. And then it's features. So uh, JWT versus uh, Paseto. Um, JWT here 
yes, plethora of knobs and levers and unauthenticated modes uh, available. So JSON Web Tokens has a lot of options, including often unauthenticated options, right? Whereas Pasero, you have two options, version and purpose. Everything is authenticated. Um, local tokens are always encrypted so that you don't actually uh, leak sensitive uh, information for a local system. So we'll click demo here. I do this. Okay. Yeah. So this is a Java application. And as you can see, we're importing Jade Paseto from here to here. And now, what does it do is it's gonna, it just it's gonna print some uh, fields here. So let's go to the top from here all the way to the uh, print line so we have shared secret keep here uh, here's create token we have create token here then parse token the result get claims get audience and also custom claim here token claims Here's the implementation of the create token in the above. It returns this Paseto version 1. Um, we have set shared secret here. Method. And then set issued at. Set uh, expiration. Set audience. Set issuer. Then claim. And then um, make it compact. We also have uh, Parse token here from Pasero. Um, parse builder, set shared secret, set public key. We have build here, then return it. So, yeah, and then search secret again. Required audience, required issue, or build. So let's try to run this. So there you go. Here's the Paseto token, version 1, local, then the payload, yep, all the way here. We have token claims, uh, there it is, then audience. And here's Scott, I don't know how to pronounce his name, sorry. Uh, he's the, the writer of uh, Paseto, so he says, Here's the a list, some some list of uh, cryptography designed for humans. Opinionated interfaces with few options. Now you should have an opinionated interface. So here's we have encrypt and decrypt. Uh, the encrypt here it should be your API for any encryption library. Then users shouldn't ever need to even know what enhance is to encrypt safely version protocols with hard-coded cipher suites uh, vetted by cryptographers of course and then logically separate symmetric cryptography from asymmetric cryptography API should be simple and easy to understand and actually there's a lot more you should see uh, his uh, presentation video it's in the internet I will highly recommend you to watch it so yeah uh, Thank you for uh, listening. That's uh, an introduction to uh, Pasero. Hope you uh, learned something. Okay, I'm out. Thanks.